I love, love comedy, comedy banks. So for the folks that didn't watch our Christmas special, we had an eventful time. Joe came around and stuffed the turkey with his cock and made his own special gravy, the dirty bastard. But we ate it anyway because we were so hungry. There were no more weenies left at the 7-Eleven, so it was the only option at that point. I read somewhere that cum is 90% water anyway, so it wasn't too bad. Totally normal conversation to start the new year with Donald. Speaking of the new year and resolutions, Michelle is making us do more for the poor, needy, and homeless of this city. What you mean by bombing the shit out of them and putting those poor fucks out of their misery like you did in the Middle East? You know very well that I had to do that to keep America the very, very safe place it is today with only 30,000 murders just last year. So how are you gonna help the homeless degenerates? We're gonna volunteer and help prepare them meals, just be a friendly face if they need to talk, that kind of thing. That's disgusting, Obama. I hope you're gonna wear a mask or at least a hazmat suit around them. As I said last time, whenever I see a homeless person, I just piss on them and then show them my bank balance. Donald, that's horrible. I wish one time, just one time, you could be nice and civil. You have so much hate in your heart. Oh, be quiet, Obama, you knucklehead. Why, you always gotta be so boring. I told you we are not making a fucking Dalton Bant snooze fest, all right? Okay, so what do you have against the homeless anyway? Homeless immigrants, people who work in the fast food industry, they are all either dangerous criminals or the scum of the earth, and all are extremely poor, believe me. That's a rather sweeping statement, don't you think? I don't give a shit, okay? Take the homeless. If they don't have a house, then they should fucking just buy one. I have several, including Trump Tower and my wonderful home in Mar-a-Lago. So many homes, sometimes I forget how many I have. All kept and maintained by the immigrants you discriminate against, I imagine. Damn straight, those fuckers will take two bucks an hour as long as I don't tell ICE. <laughs> um, anyway, Donald, I have a feeling something is missing. What do you mean? Hmm, something is missing. I just can't put my finger on it. Oh, you mean that crazy old retard Sleepy Joe? I've not heard from him for days. Hopefully he's dead or in a coma. I wonder where he is. Chocolate, chocolate chip pardon. Chocolate, chocolate chip pardon. Chocolate, chocolate chip pardon. Are you okay, sir? I have absolutely no idea. Do you need any help? I honestly don't know, mister. Chocolate, chocolate chip pardon. Chocolate, chocolate chip pardon. Chocolate, chocolate chip pardon. Are you okay, sir? I would like to sniff your hair, please, madam. If that is not okay, then I would like to sniff your anus. I would be prepared to pay you 50 bucks for this and give you a presidential pardon if you ever end up in jail. A presidential what? Pardon. No, get away from me, you creepy old bastard. Uh... Is this a flash? My God, Sleepy Joe, what the fuck are you doing? Chocolate, chocolate chip pardon. Joe, what are you doing? Are you all right? Not telling Obama, he, he, you and Donald are my best friends. Obama, listen, we need to take the prick out. He's obviously high as hell on fentanyl or white powder and whatever shit he takes to get him through the day. I think our only option is to whack him right now before he does anything dangerous. Donald, no, we can't whack the sitting president of the United States. He has a very important job to do and the country would descend into chaos without him. Besides, we can't do that in public. It would be unprecedented. What important job does he have to do? He spends all day sleeping and talking nonsense. He wastes hard-earned American taxpayer dollars on every single war known to man for the most part. Anyway, what are we gonna do about the bonehead? He's out of control. Let's just tase him, then stick him in a cupboard for a few hours till he calms down. Then get Secret Service to pick him up. Oh no, please don't tase me, Donald. <laughs> Take that sleepy Joe, you lazy dumb idiot. I really hope that electric shock is too much for your frail old weak heart to take. And you have a heart attack right there on the street because it would be funny. Ah, uh, that tickles. It wouldn't be funny he doesn't have health insurance and Republican policy means he just lost his Medicare. Oh, that's such a shame, hey, hey. So are you okay, Joe? Jill says you slept for three days, so hopefully you're okay now and back to normal. Chocolate, chocolate chip pardon. You had quite an episode the other day. Maybe stay off the drugs for a few days to clear your mind. You're right, Barack. I had way too much fentanyl. Hunter got me a ton for Christmas, and I did it all in one go, so I was pretty wasted. <laughs> Where is Hunter now? He got kidnapped by the Mexican cartel. Oh, no, why? He had sex with all their prostitutes and refused to pay, so they kidnapped him. And is there a ransom? Have they made any demands? Yes, they want $1 million by next week. And are you going to pay it? No, I can't afford it. Oh, that's too bad. Yeah, can I borrow $1 million to pay off Hunter's ransom, please, Donald? Nope, no way, Sleepy Joe. I don't lend money to idiots like you, all right? They can cut off his balls and set him on fire for all I care. It's true, it's true. Okay, okay, before things descend into chaos again, what are we going to do today, Donald? Well, we got a big job to do. What is it? Is it going to the Ice Spice concert? Nope, be quiet. We gotta assassinate Michael Jackson. Who's Michael Jackson? The king of pop. We got to assassinate him. 
But isn't he already dead, Donald? I think he died in 2009. Nope, no way, Obama, you gutless pig. He faked his death, and he has been hiding out on Epstein Island ever since. My intel tells me that he is in town for a few days visiting family, so we have to strike quickly and efficiently and whack that crazy son of a bitch. Why do we have to whack him, though? Well, because he is a dangerous pedo, as you both know. Speaking of dangerous pedos, this is where Sleepy Joe will play his part. Oh, yes, I'm a dirty pedo. Hey, hey, what do I have to do? Well, you have to befriend Michael Jackson, you know, build up some common ground with all your pedo shit, get him to trust you, and then you can quickly whack him. Okay, that sounds good. So say I go along with the plan and get caught. What do I do? If you get caught, tell the police that it was your idea and me and Obama have nothing to do with it. Then curl up like a baby and start crying, okay? Okay, Donald, anything you say, you really are the best friend a guy could wish for. So sleepy, Joe, so you obviously know what Michael Jackson looks like, right? I have no idea. Which one is he? The weird-looking freak in the red suit that's dancing to no music. Okay, wait a minute while I whack him. Take that Michael Jackson, you sick pedo. No one touches kids apart from me. Take that and that, you bastard. Did I do good, Donald? No sleepy, Joe, you idiot. That wasn't Michael Jackson. That was some poor innocent man, you maniac. Oh, shucks. Sorry about that, Donald. Will he be okay? No, he won't be okay, Joe. He's dead. Goodness me. Okay, go and talk to the actual Michael Jackson. Let's just say that was just a bit of practice. Oh, hello there, are you, Michael Jackson? Yes, I am. He, he. Why, hello there. My name is Joseph Robinette Biden, Jr. Would you like to be friends? Oh, yes, please. Hey, hey. Oh, I'm bad. I'm bad. I'm so really bad. <laughs> oh, okay, then. How old are you, Joseph? Too old for you, you dead idiot, so don't get any ideas. Sure, so what would you like to do? Joe, would you like to hang out? Yes, I was thinking maybe we could take a ride to the local schools and take a few pics of a few cute kids. Then we could ask their parents if it would be okay to sniff their hair. That's a swell idea, Joe, but I don't have a ride. Shall we get a taxi? No, it's okay. My friends can take us. Hey, hey. Oh, I'm bad. Who are your friends? Ow! Hello, my name is called Donald J. Trump, and I am the twice impeached, four times indicted, civilly liable sex pest and failed former president of the United States. And my name is, um, Tony. Why are you giving a fake name, Obama? Is it because you don't want anyone to know your real name for when we whack Michael? Hey, hey, ow, oh, I'm bad. Who are we whacking, guys? Oh, um, um, no one, Michael, don't worry about it, all right. Sleepy Joe is just a little bit confused, is all, because he forgot to take his meds. Wow, would you guys like to hear a song? I wrote one with Elton John called Don't Let Your Sun Go Down On Me. <laughs> Nope, not really, Michael. Read my lips. We don't want to hear your shitty songs, all right? So do us a favor and shut the fuck up, okay? So, um, what are your New Year's resolutions, Michael? Hee hee ow. I want to relaunch my music career. Oh, that's fantastic. I really liked your album, Thriller. It was amazing. One of my first records, if I remember correctly, I played it for Michelle on our first date, and I was hanging out the back of her by the time Billie Jean came on. What's Billie Jean? It's a famous Michael Jackson song, Joe. Who's Michael Jackson? Oh, shut up, Sleepy Joe, you knucklehead. You really are dumb as a rock, aren't you? Chocolate, chocolate chip, pardon, hey. Hey guys, I thought we were headed to a school to get some pics of some kids. Sleepy Joe, where are we going? Change of plan, Michael. What do you mean? Just get out the car, okay? We know some record labels that would be interested in signing you, so we just need you to get out to sing and do a dance routine. Um, that kind of thing. Oh, I just love to sing and dance. That's wonderful, Donald, thank you. Okay, now take this, dickhead. Take this, you degenerate scum, pedo. The world is now a safer place with an idiot like you gone. Oh my God, Donald, what have you done? Michael was my new best friend and you've killed him, shucks. We were supposed to assassinate him, Biden, remember? No, it's the first time you mentioned it. Anyway, since he is dead, can I please quickly sniff his anus? Just for a minute, oh boy, oh boy. Okay, very quickly though, then we need to dump his body in the lake or something. Then get the hell out of here. And try not to come. We don't want to leave your DNA everywhere. Right, thanks for watching, you low IQ individuals. Please do us a favor, like the video, and leave a comment and sub if you are new. Also, please click on one of the videos on screen right now, and Comedy Danks will be back soon, believe me. <laughs> chocolate, chocolate chip, pardon.